Hey everybody, so I am back here working on this painting. I had promised that I would talk to you about how I can make the stars look a little more in depth. And of course, you know, this is a fantasy painting because you don't really see trees like this. Um, and there aren't real details like this. This all came from my brain, but I do try to copy and give it, you know, some realistic details, and that's stars are one of them. So one of the things I do, sorry, this keeps moving here. I want it up close so you can see it well because it's, you know, tiny details. So one of the things I do is I take a yellow and I will hit different stars with a touch of yellow, which I don't think you're gonna see very clearly on the video, but it is one of the tricks. I don't do it on all of the stars. I just hit them different little spots because there's a difference between something looking like snowflakes and uh, another thing looking like stars. And even though these are really tiny details that the eye doesn't really see, but it does. It affects how you're looking at it. I'm gonna try to turn this get up a little close like right here so I just hit a couple places right on top of a star that I've already done and then the other thing I'll do is stars are like all sorts of different colors you'll see them have a little turquoise color you'll see them be pink uh, there's just different colors in the stars the way it filters through the atmosphere making them a certain color. And then the other thing that I do is I make a wash. So I'll take a medium sized brush and a bunch of water in one of my little containers here. And then I take whatever base color the sky was and I really, really make it watery like that. So it's going to drip. So you have to be careful about how it, how you apply it. So first, I'm gonna rest my brush right on the paper towel so it absorbs all of it. And then I just do a slight wash right over the stars there, which gives it a little more, um, what would I call it? it gives it more atmosphere on top of those stars so that the stars are part of the sky. They're not sitting on top of the sky. Just, that's the difference between making um, snowflakes and stars for me. And that is the stars have to fade into the sky and the Snowflakes, they're also different colors, but snowflakes sit on top of the sky. And also snowflakes are different shapes and sizes, but they aren't different colors. And so that's just a real brief explanation of getting that extra bit of depth in your, your stars. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little more yellow, a couple of them down here, because I haven't done any down here. Um, you'll see more, I, I feel, yellow ones down at the bottom, close to the horizon. And I'm just, I'm not doing a whole lot of them, just a couple here and there, because I also don't want it to just all be yellow stars. So I'm gonna back it up just a bit again, so you can see the full effect. And I'm gonna do another wash, a little more water, and a little more Payne's Gray, which is the background on this one. It also has a little bit of other colors in it. But again, like I said, I'm doing a wash. So it's very pale, so it's not gonna um, take away from the other colors that are in the painting here. And I'm just coming up to the edge of the tree there. I lose my 
train of thought a lot, don't I? <laughs> I have a very hard time talking and doing things at the same time. I'm not a very graceful or coordinated person. <laughs> and you're getting a glare, so let's turn it. Let's see if we can turn it like that. It's a little better. And I'm bringing it on down to the bottom here, but I don't want to lose this light that's popping up here behind those mountains, so I won't go real close to it. Um, sometimes I work with this light here, but as you can see, when I turn it on, it makes it kind of glare, but that light helps me see more of the details, and also, like right now, I can see some paint that didn't lay right, so I'm gonna go straighten that out just a bit. All right, so that was a real quick video for today, and that pretty much finishes the stars. So it gives them a 3D, that's the idea, and you don't see a whole lot of it in the camera, but you can see right over here, you can start to see that they're fading into the background and some come towards the front, and that's because you vary the shapes and sizes and locations, and then uh, some of the colors, and then wash over those stars. And as you can see, they still look really white. They're not dark. It just gives them a little more tint to the color and gives it a little more um, detail. So the next video, we're gonna come downward with the camera and work on the base here this base area we're going to work on all the tiny details to finish up this painting but thanks for stopping by today and i hope you have a great day out there bye